We're talking about driverless cars. We all know about driverless cars, but have you heard about the driverless pram? A Canadian company have designed a hands-free pram which pushes itself unaided. It's got two motors. It can go up to five miles per hour and onboard sensors will automatically stop if it goes further than arm's reach from the person who's walking slightly behind it or alongside it. So would you dare to use one. I mean, the thing is, this is the future, isn't it? This is technology. Is it? Years ago, Carol, people would have said driverless cars would go, dead so ridiculous. And there are cars No, they're now. still ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but but they're who there. in their right mind would have them? Well, people do. It's, I know, why? You know, soon they'll be it's flying or something. I mean, no, it's asking <laughs> for trouble, isn't it? It'd be quite good to use one of them prams for your shopping, right? Yeah. But then again, I understand it doesn't really work if there's anything in it. Yeah. So yeah. it has to be kind of empty. <laughs> so the, the yeah. person has like a sensor or something, is it like on a Well, and the, from what I understand is that to comply with the current safety standards, OK, obviously these things are improving and changing all the time, the driverless function only works when there's not a baby inside. Oh. But say you've taken the baby out, <laughs> you're carrying the baby, you don't then have to push. Yeah. If you've you got me. your hands yeah. full. So exactly. If you've got your hands full, yeah. you've got the baby, you've got whatever, the, the pram will kind of go along and it's going to set it to the Does it right get on the bus way. itself as well? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be handy. That would be so handy. Yeah. Yeah. And I, just, I just say, I can't get my head around. It. Like, I, I don't know, originally I thought with the baby in it, so obviously for me then that's an Straight absolute away, yeah. no. Like, I just wouldn't... I, d I just still don't trust cars that drive themselves, no. so I definitely wouldn't trust something with, like, my, my absolute life in it, you know? Yeah. And actually, for me, I blooming love a buggy. I love yeah. pushing a pram. Yeah. Like, even still now, if, I, if I'm with a friend and they've got a baby, I'm like, I'll push the buggy for you. I'm like, I'm like a child. You know, I'll push <laughs> it, I'll push, push it? it, yeah. <laughs> like, walking around pretending I've got a baby. Don't want a baby, just like the pram. Um, so, like, I don't know, I just... I, I just don't... You know, <laughs> I, loved, I loved buying a buggy. Like, that yeah. was a whole part of it. I loved it. And I remember once Kim Kardashian had a buggy that self-folded and, like, you pressed a button and it would fold and you press a button and it would pop back up again and they started folding while babies, babies were, were in them. them. Oh. So, like, I just feel like it's just an accident waiting to happen. Someone's yeah. going to put their baby in it yeah. and let it go, aren't they? No, no, it's a no from me. Yeah. I just... My baby's safety comes first and I'm like... And also, I really enjoy the pushing of the buggy. It's the one time as a mum where, you know, baby's been fed, you put baby in the buggy, baby's safe, you get a bit of exercise, you go out in the park, you know, it's great for your mental health, you know, getting that fresh air and walking and oh, all that. Oh, it sounds great. Want... It's great. <laughs> it's great. But, but, but for mums who are stuck indoors with a crying baby or, and you haven't been able to get out because you're with baby, that time where you're yeah, walking is lovely. Would you want to go out? Like, without a baby and just, you know, just go out, <laughs> you know, it's a bit like that. Well, that's why we've got buggies that push their cells out, Carol. Because we like having babies. I'm joking, I know you I do. Must, I, I must you stress, do, though, you say about safety, I must stress, <laughs> I must stress that this pram, mm -hmm. you know, has, does comply yeah. with all the safety standards. Yeah. So we can't say that this is unsafe. You can say, like, oh, I'd be uncomfortable. I don't But, you know, that. and what they're saying is, at the moment, mm. you, it's, it will move itself without the baby mm -hmm. in it. But, obviously, technology is moving that way, like the driverless car, that at some point you might be able to have. So I just must stress that, that it is completely safe and has complied with all safety Someone standards. Someone nick it as well. It's only your personal view whether you <laughs> yeah. use it or not. Yeah. You've got your bag in the bottom of it, it's down a little bit away from you. Someone's going to swipe it. But it's only going to be ever going to be arm's work, length. Though, will it? Because it has to be with the person It'll who's only got be the arm's controller. Length. Yeah. There's yeah. no controller. But how does it know who something. owns it then? No, because you have to be arm's <laughs> length. <laughs> Anyway, we'll leave you with that little I conundrum while we go to the competition. <laughs>